So we're creating a product around the Raspberry Pi and ideally because it's going to be a headless device uh, therefore the user interface isn't going to be always on show. We don't really want our customers to be uh, having to go into the windowed environment or even touching the command line. A browser is ideal for them. So we've created an extension based upon the multi-plug edge computing platform um, and this gives the multi-plug functionality to change settings of the Raspberry Pi. A lot of the functionality is based upon um, the command line Raspberry Pi config um, uh, without a lot of the uh, visualization changes but all the interface stuff and all the networking stuff is all found within this extension. So this is the home page of Multiplug as we see today. If you go to settings, extensions, uh, add, look for on the drop down menu, this is if you have an internet connection, uh, this is the extension name. Uh, so we add that, go down to update, you can sideload it, you can download the uh, package and do a sideload if you're not on an uh, internet connection. Uh, so we we'll do update for that. So this goes away and downloads the, the package. And that's it done. So now if we go into extensions and raspi config and let that load. So this is the home page of the extension. So it gives you all the sort of basic details you would find from the Raspberry Pi. So model number, operating system, host name, current temperatures, date and time and stuff, disk space. And the, uh, the settings you can change are, are listed on the top, the categories. Um, so uh, networking, so often you want to set static IP addresses, for example, uh, that's available here. You can set them here, all the routers and things like that. Um, you can change the host name. So if you have multiple Raspberry Pis on the network, you probably want to rename the host name. So you can change that there. Just, um, and you can even set up Wi-Fi uh, networks. So let's do that. So first of all, you've got to set the country. So we've got, it's taken us to the localization area. Let's go down to uh, the UK and save that. I do believe we can get away with not having to restart, but if we had to restart, oh, we could practice to restart, but you can hit that button there and it will restart the system. So if we then go down to networking, uh, so there's all the IP addresses currently assigned to the Raspberry Pi. Um, and then let's go down to wireless networks. So you've got the, all the networks currently saved, which are none. Um, if you press scan, it will start to scan the network for available IP um, wireless access points. So then we have all the access points of the network. Let's uh, click that one. Um, I just entered the, the pass and go up to save that. We'll just give it some time to connect to that wireless network. And hopefully if I refresh, and there you go, it's uh, appeared at the bottom there. So you've got to uh, connect into the wireless network now. Um, so localization, uh, set, set date time. Um, currently it syn synchronizes to the network. So even if you change this time, it probably will jump back, but you can disable that. You can disable the fake hardware clock, which is um, normal, uh, is enabled if you don't have a real time clock. If you have a real-time clock, this will be selected and it will update the real-time clock um, as soon as you save at the top. Interfacing again, quite similar to the command line interface. Um, you've got all the interfaces you can enable, disable. Um, quite simply really, just ons off. Uh, you've got some boot options for different ROMs and uh, whether you want to boot into the desktop of course you can't see the desktop here that's the probably only the, the only area which is touching the visualization of the desktop 
memory. This shows you all the disk space and RAM available at the current time, which is again very useful to understand where what the current state of the system is. You can also change the uh, the uh, username, the default username, sorry, the default password of the default username, which is normally Pi. Uh, you can change it there, but just remember you are running over a unsecure uh, network connection at that point. So your passwords will be sent in the clear. So you only do that if you if you trust your network. It is your network, basically. Um, if you've got hats installed, it will come up with all the details found from the hat listed there and uh, general logs um, and also this is a, a feature we'll, we'll probably work on more on which is a nice um, REST API which will give you some JSON so again you can install this and then poll multiple pies maybe just to understand what, what state they're all in so this just gives off the temperature, but you know, in the future it will give off um, other elements of what's happening. Uh, there's the uh, the normal uh, REST API string, um, and we'll be developing that. We'll be developing that more as as we see fit, and obviously you will, as you do an update, you will gain the functionality that we we create. Um, another functionality which is bolt, uh, built into Multiplug which is just shut down and restart. So if you go to settings overview, you've got actions, you be, you're able to restart the Pi from this button there or you can shut down the Pi. Um, there, is all, there is also for the Multiplug itself a discovery app for both Android and Windows, so you can install that and then uh, discover your Raspberry Pis on the network, uh, which is again, it's another just simple handy feature that it makes uh, life a little bit easier running multiple Pis on, on your network. Um, so I hope that helps um, anyone who needs to have a go at it. It's a nice introduction to the multi-plug if you only use it for those features. Um, I will either link below or at the end of this video there will be a link to um, how to install Multiplug both on the Raspberry Pi slash Debian Linux or um, Windows and I'll probably put that at the end of this video or there will be a link down below. So I hope that helps and uh, it's certainly a nice uh, interface for our customer base so hopefully it helps other people too.